everyone, Achika here, and it's Wednesday, so that means it's time for another DCO base showcase here on the channel. And today, I got another very special one lined up for you guys. In fact, it is the winner of our Days of Summer Base Off contest. Um, speaking of Base Off, I posted, if you guys did not see, the new Base Off challenge Monday here on the channel. So I'll link it above right now so you guys can go check that out if you haven't seen it. It's more of a challenge than a base building competition really and it's only gonna be a month um, I just thought it'd be something fun and new to try and um, just exercise those building and creativity skills with a, a little bit of restriction <laughs> so yeah if you haven't seen it go uh, go take a look see see if it's to your liking there's a pretty good prize pool too I think so um, yeah, we'll see how many entries we get. Uh, for now, though, uh, we are going to go check out Optimus's Frank's Fairy Tale Land, um, which, again, like I said, took home the number one prize for Days of Summer. And I, I, it, this base just gave me everything I wanted with the Days of Summer theming. I asked for a narrative and a creative way to tell your character's story of the summer, and I got three in one base, and... Um, it really strived in the creativity and narrative feels. Whereas a lot of, like, a few of the other bases were really immersive and, um, I mean, really well put together as well. This one just, it, it is also very well put together, but it just, it just went way, like, the creativity in it is, is awesome. <laughs> like, and the way the story unfolds is also really well done. Um, so yeah, uh, let's go check out Optimus's Frank's base. Land. You guys probably already heard me talk about this in the announcement video, so I don't need to rehash it, but I don't know. I just really like this base a lot. <laughs> mm. Don't think anything's changed probably since the live stream, but maybe we'll find something. Ah, yes. So we start in a lagoon. <laughs> or a beach, I guess. A ship graveyard. <laughs> a literal ship graveyard. That's another That's another thing I thought was really great. Like, <laughs> boat graveyard, but actual, actual graves here. I thought this was a fun way of putting the teleporter into. So a lot of people like to have their base functional. I go very design oriented rather than functional with some of my bases. Some of my bases actually don't even have amenities up because um, I need every single spot, but I appreciate the use of the RN gate. No swimming, man sharks about, which is true. <laughs> So this is part of the base that I really liked too, was the Eye of Gemini. It's kind of like the start of the base. I, I saw it as like the narrative, uh, or the narrator of the fairy tales coming in here, telling the story. <laughs> Gather round, children, and I will tell you a tale. The way the skeletons in the hammock is so good, I love it. <laughs> So great. The ship graveyard with actual ships. Huh! I actually got a great screenshot of, uh, like inside the sharks, like this. <laughs> Looking out into the beach scene. It's a bit better in, in my actual screenshot. Uh, which I actually, I might start posting some of my screenshots on my, uh, my very not used Twitter page, actually. Because I have a lot of them, and, uh, I always take multiple. Whoa. Ooh. I didn't know you could just walk through them. Say cheese. <laughs> That's pretty great. <laughs> but yeah, what I really loved about this base was just the this is this is one of the more comical ones. I like the idea of the uh, the beach scene, like the normal beach party scene that a few people actually put into their bases, but um the zombies are eating the beachgoers for their summer vacation. <laughs> I absolutely love that. And also the play on the, the ship graveyard actually being a graveyard is pretty, pretty fantastic. 
I don't think I want to know what's on those kebabs, uh, given uh, how our beachgoers fared here. <laughs> and I also like the tree lines a lot here because it's starting to kind of reflect the, the forest ahead. That was another thing the space had was the transitions that I loved. Oh my gosh, the, the dual skeletons! <laughs> The Batmobile! Can you guys see him sticking out? Oh, that's so great. <laughs> Fantastic. Necron serving up also some, uh. We spared the parrot though, I'll give him that. <laughs> I like these guys, they're like facing off. Over coconut drinks. <laughs> and if they're guarding that trailer, I don't even want to know what's in there. <laughs> so yeah, again, the forest is being foreshadowed for our next story. Which, this one really was great for the narrative function. So we got some wolves here. Ooh. This is so great. The wolves cornering our heroes. I just love how Black Canary's like looks like she's actually screaming. Black Canary for final girl. <laughs> That's awesome. Got him cornered. Then we have a campsite here. Oh man, look at all the bodies. They already got to these guys. They didn't have a chance to fight back. And I love the wolf around the corner too, hiding in the background. That's so great. Like, look at that. Like, because if you go like from here, you just see him like peering out slightly. That's awesome. <laughs> I wonder if that's uh, the Flash and Six Dimension Superman there, or hot. I could be. I guess it could be Hot Girl too. But I don't see any bird wings around. So, <laughs> because Green Arrow and Mira are here also fighting off. And I think you guys just saw it too, but the smoke vent coming down is so great. I just picture it being like when a- <laughs> That's awesome! Like Green Arrow putting out like a, a smoke bomb arrow. Like trying to fend off the wolves. <laughs> I love that so much. I also love the idea of them like just being- being fighters against the wolves here. It's really neat. And then if we look above, we can see more animal fighters as well. I think if I could get like a shot up there, there it is. The bats. And also, looks like there's something more malevolent up there lurking in the distance. <laughs> Let's get a better look up here. <laughs> That's so rad. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's great. And then if we keep going through the forest here, we understand why the wolves are doing what they're doing and the creatures are doing what they're doing. Because Mr. Mixius Spitalik is commanding them to do so in fear for his gold. <gasps> oh my gosh, I have no idea what I just got. Ooh, presents. Did I just steal your gold? Oh man, are wolves gonna follow me home now? Dude. Is there take takes these backsies? Like if I if I give it back, I'm just gonna just gonna like uh here, I'll put it I'll, I'll put it back. I'll just drop it right there. It's just, eh, everything's good, right, Mixie? We're we're still buddies, we're still pals, right? Everybody's cool. All right. Oh, <laughs> you know. I mean, I did say that base interaction things would probably be the death of me. I thought a piano would get me though before uh, before a gold coin, but um, looks like I was surely mistaken. <laughs> you know what? We're just gonna slowly back away <laughs> and hope. Uh, we'll we'll let our animal friends fight our heroes. I, I think I think everything's gonna be okay. Everything's gonna be 
Everything's gonna be just fine. You guys, you guys are okay, right? You, you, you got this? You, 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 yeah? Okay. <laughs> now this. This is what put this base over the edge for me. This is something I'm gonna take away, because I don't know if you've seen a lot of my bases, but a lot of my bases, I either cover up the steps and drop down, or I, I utilize the steps in, in different ways, but I have never thought to use the steps as an actual progressive, like, progression mechanism for the narrative. Um, Illyria's uh, Verdant Hollows was the closest it came to that, but... It did. It, it wasn't like this. This is fantastic. So we're still in the forest. We can see the forest ahead, but we're going to try and boat our way out of here. However, our boat is not the best. It's a, it's a bit worn down, and we borrowed it from the zombies, so we're trying to escape our, our best way through here. However, sadly, our boat seems to be sinking. And as you go down the stairs... The trees become less sparse. They become more barren. And more bubbles start to pop up, as well as some Atlantean foreshadowing. And then, as we make it to the bottom of the stairs, our boat has completely sunk into an underwater world. <laughs> so fantastic. I love this so much. Like, just, just the way the boat, like, sinks. And you understand completely what's going on. The boat is sinking. Oh my gosh. That's sure. <laughs> oh man, I think we're going to need a bigger boat. Oh no. <laughs> I love this. I love this so much. This is so great. Like I said, the creativity here in the narrative structure is just, it's over the top for me. Like, it, it just has a special place in my heart. I love it so much. <laughs> and then we have the, the treasure here, I think, that everybody's fighting over. Let's go take a look over here. Oh, you want to you wanna take a look at the treasure too, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Usually Blitz sticks to my live streams, but uh <laughs> I think uh Mixie is you know, Mixie's calling on the animals to get me and she's uh she's starting in a little early. <laughs> so where were we? Oh yeah, the, the gold here. So it's like sharks versus Atlanteans trying to trying to get the gold. Or here's another thing I thought was kinda cool. What if these are the ghost sharks? Like these these sharks are the sharks from up above that the zombies got and they're just mad ghost sharks haunting the waters because they were unjustly killed. And the Atlanteans are like, Well that's not our problem, so we better get rid of all these sharks <laughs> I don't know, I just thought that was might be a cool a cool aspect. <laughs> it's so good. It's just such an epic battle sequence. And then we have our Aya Gemini here at the very end. And there's also three bodies. I wonder if that represents the three stories, too. I'm curious. Oh, no, I guess there's four because we got somebody in the throne as well. <laughs> to end cap the story. So, again, that's how I saw this as the narrator. Almost like some, you know, like they're telling the story and it's like. This is the end. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, I just, I really, really love this base a lot. I wonder if these gold coins are part of the Mixie narrative too. There's just like so many combinations and everything's tied into everything else that I think it's just such a fun base. Like it's just, it's, it's really great. <laughs> <laughs> you did a great job, Optimus Frank. And I think I'm going to chill in the middle of the gold in the battle here for our end cap. <laughs> so thank you so much, guys, for joining me for this tour. And thank you so much, Optimus Frank, for Fairy Tale Land uh, as an entry and entering base off. I really appreciate it. And it's, again, it's it's super fantastic, man. Like, the creativity and the narrative structure here just are 
it's over the moon and it's 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 perfect <laughs> thank you so much and thank you guys for watching um so i did say announcements and such uh so for the scheduling i'm going to do the for second and third place a base off as i usually do um, so expect, uh, that on Saturday for second place and third place, I think I'm going to do Monday if I have enough time. So what I want to do in the next couple weeks is try and get as many base off tours up as possible. But I also promise people, um, I have a long list of bases to actually tour as well, uh, for content. So I'm going to try and do as many base offs as I can. And then also filter in maybe a few, um, regular uh bases that that people have been waiting on tours for uh from me um i'll probably message them and see what's going on and all that good stuff um also if you have requested um for me to look at your bases and to give you some feedback on them i'm gonna try the rest of this week to get that done so if i don't have the mail out to you guys by next monday um just message me again because I, I have a list that I made uh, for everybody who requested tours and just feedback in general. And I think I reached out to quite a few of you already. But I think a few of you I'm still working on right now. Um, but again, uh, I am human and I do mess up. So uh, I might have accidentally forgot to write something down. So if you feel like I have forgotten one of your bases, please reach out to me uh, by just sending me a piece of mail in the game. Um, and I will get to that as soon as possible. <laughs> um, other than that, uh, I mentioned earlier, I think I might not. Oh, yeah, I think I did. Um, I'm starting to post things on my Twitter, which I usually don't. But uh, since YouTube has a fun have to have 500 subscribers for updates on a channel, um, I can't give you guys any updates about live streams and stuff like that. So I'm going to start posting... Uh, updates and stuff over there uh so if you want to do that you can go you could go follow me if you do that thing if you don't i don't blame you i don't really i'm gonna be honest i don't really use my twitter anyway i'm probably just gonna post a lot of drawings and art and um screenshots and probably work some progress with some of my bases too so if any of that stuff interests you you can go over there and check it out um speaking of subscribers thank you so much for 252 holy crap <laughs> I was definitely not expecting that when I started the channel. So thank you for that. Um, we're halfway there to get that 500. I'm really, that's that's honestly my main goal is the 500. So that way I can at least send you guys updates about live streams and stuff like that. And the last of the updates is going to be uh, my Twitch channel. I'm thinking about doing some live stream decorating, maybe, if you guys are interested in watching me just kind of hang out one night and just decorate if that's something that interests you please let me know in the comments below if not i'll probably just do it on my lonesome anyway and not stream <laughs> but if it is something you guys feel like you want to watch and just hang out while while i do so um yeah let me know and i also might play some other games i know for uh october i always do a um like 31 days of horror to stream so i'm going to be doing a lot of horror games over there if that's something you guys want to think this year we're going to try and do call of cthulhu um might do sinking city i haven't played resident evil village yet so i might go do that or resident evil 3 i haven't played the remaster version yet that just came out a couple years ago and maybe amnesia or vestige too there's a lot of horror games i haven't played i feel like i'm very behind <laughs> a lot of stuff so so if you're interested in watching other games too um let me know in the comments below as well because uh yeah i don't know i i tend to game a lot but if you guys want to pal around and game with me or just watch while i do it <laughs> i'm down <laughs> so just let me know um yeah and i think that's it for all the announcements so thank you so much again for watching sorry for being long-winded at the end of this at least we have a. Uh, a beautiful base to be sitting in while I do so. <laughs> um, but yeah, come on back on Saturday. We're going to have another great one. We're going to have uh, Pentagram 123's uh, Hawaii base, I think, because that was the second place winner. So come on back and we'll do a, a tour of that. So until then, you guys have a great rest of your day and I will catch you in the next one. Take care, everybody.